Romans 12 verse 2 And do not be fashioned according to this age, but be transformed by the renewing of the mind that you may prove what the will of God is, that which is good and well-pleasing and perfect. In Romans 12 verse 2 Paul charges the believers not to be fashioned according to this age. The combination of all people, activities, and things outside of God is called the world. Ephesians 2 verse 2 refers to the age of this world. We can contact only the age, a part, but not the whole world. Usually, we say that the world possesses us. In reality, only the age possesses us, not the whole world. In 2 Timothy 4 verse 10 we find the reason Paul charged Timothy to come to him quickly. For Demas has abandoned me, having loved the present age, and has gone to Thessalonica, Crescens to Galatia, Titus to Dalmatia. Loving the present age, the world now before our eyes, is in contrast to loving the Lord's appearing, mentioned in verse 8. The world, the cosmos, is composed of many ages. It seems that every decade is a different age. The present age is the world which surrounds us, attracts us, and tempts us. Demas was one who loved the present age, some believe that Demas came from Thessalonica and that this was the reason he went to Thessalonica after forsaking Paul. But whether or not he was a native of that city, it is certain that he went there because he loved the world and forsook the apostle. In Romans 12 verse 2 Paul exhorts us to not be fashioned according to this age, but to be transformed by the renewing of the mind. This age denotes the present, practical part of the world, which stands in opposition to the body life and replaces the body life. The whole world is a system of Satan, and the age is a part of this world system. We cannot contact the world unless we contact the present age of the world. To be fashioned according to this age means to adopt the modern fashions of the present age, to be transformed is to allow an organic element to be wrought into our being, thus producing an inward metabolic change. Because the present age opposes the church, we must not be fashioned according to it. If we are to live in the body of Christ, we should not follow the present age or be fashioned according to this age. Praise the Lord!